Without the Plummer family's kindness in sharing their knowledge of living in this wild border country, it would have been all but impossible for their new coming neighbors to survive on the Gunflint Trail. Justine Kerfoot wrote about the Plummers. The Indians became our friends and slowly trusted us. Over the years, they taught us how to take care of ourselves in the woods. Mrs. Cook and Netawance Plummer were two sisters, partially Cree, who migrated south from Canada and married trappers. Mrs. Plummer married a white man who had a store and they raised a family of four children, Walter, George, Lillian, and Gladys. Mr. Plummer was generous in extending credit and unfortunately was not repaid for the goods. So he left to go to Fort William to earn enough money to repay his own creditors. He never returned to Gunflint and the job of raising the family was left to Netawans. The family made their living trapping and guiding. They used their innate powers of observation to make their way in the world and to help them straddle the two worlds in which they found themselves. Their keen observations of the natural world guided them in their day-to-day -day life. In an edition of the Gunflint Gossips, Justine gives us a glimpse. The column was titled, Mosquitoes. We've had a fine crop of these little friends this spring. However, two days ago, Walter saw the first red spot of the season. What's a red spot? Well, it's a very small parasite that appears under the wing of a mosquito sometime in the early part of July. From the date of its first appearance, we can figure 10 days to two weeks till the end of the mosquito's reign for the season. Bruce Kerfoot recalls they were a proud family who quietly did their own thing. Their word was their bond. George taught me about the woods and double guided with me as I learned the trade of a fishing guide. In exchange, I wrote his love letters to his future bride Louise for him. Howard Joins often told of how George Plummer once found an eagle caught in one of his traps. As George spoke softly to the eagle in his native language, he calmed the frightened bird. He was then able to approach it and release it from the trap. As the great bird flew away, it stopped to look back at George as if to say, Thank you. Not only did the Plummers guide people into the wilderness for recreational fishing and hunting, but more so, they guided their neighbors in the ways of the woods and helped them to live in harmony with it as they did. For this, their neighbors remember the plumbers as the eagle remembered George with deep and lasting gratitude.